first Marilyn, Beverly Owen, um, I had a huge crush on. She was like my first, I guess, huge, yeah, first crush, I guess. And she was great. Beverly was basically, she was homesick, and she was in love with a gentleman in New York City, and she just was unhappy. And um, I don't think anybody anticipated the show doing as well as it did, so I think she thought it would be 13 weeks and out. And after 13 weeks, we got picked up for the rest of the season. And she, all she did was she, just, she would just knit and cry all day long. She was just miserable. And it was, it was actually very sad. So Fred Wynn and Al Lewis, I believe, went to the, the producers, Joe Conley and Bob Mosier, and told them, this, you got to let this woman out of this contract. This is ridiculous. You know, she's miserable, and it's not fair to her. And, and if you don't let her go, we'll quit, and then you won't have a show at all. And that's when they brought in Pat Priest, who did a, did, did a great job. In fact, a lot of people aren't even aware there was two Marylands. Cause that's how, that's how good, good it was. It, it wasn't like the Darren change, where you obviously knew it wasn't Dick York. Uh, <laughs> but that they did bring in another Marilyn, and Pat Priest did the other 57 shows. Didn't, she wear, didn't Beverly have to wear a wig? Yes, she was a brunette. That was a good blonde wig. In fact, a lot of people had no idea that that was a wig. It was uh, probably one of the best wigs I ever saw. Just a little tiny bit of netting around her, her hairline, but um, it was a good blonde wig.